Hi guys and welcome back. It's Scott Marie Wheelay and special guest Freya, <laughs> aka Peasant Plant Killer. Just joking. This is my bestie. You guys might remember her. Um, she was the one with the failed money tree. Yeah. But we are really excited to be. <laughs> we're really excited to be sitting down and filming this video for you guys because this has honestly been such a highly requested video um, question inquiry on both of our profiles. Literally, especially yours. Like holy crap, every day. Yeah, every day one of you guys asks me how I edit my photos, what filters I'm using. So. Yeah, Freya and I just came together and wanted to create something really amazing that everyone could experience. Um, and we just wanted to really educate you guys on how our profiles are looking so bomb, in my opinion. Like, I literally go onto her profile and I'm like, fucking Instagram page feed goals. Honestly, I like that. It's fucking amazing. And everyone always asks, what filters I'm using and to be honest what's life without a filter so we have created some really kick-ass Lightroom presets for you guys and we're really excited to be sitting down and sharing so basically today we're just going to be talking you three talking you through how to put them on your phone use them put them over your photos and yeah just basically helping you download them and how to put them on your phone, blah, blah, blah. And you guys can see how we edit our Instagram photos. So we will have two separate links to how to install them to your phone or your desktop laptop. And then we have another video, which is how to adjust them. So every photo is different, essentially, like every light, every color. So a preset isn't going to look perfect on it straight away. Well, sometimes it can, but it really depends on where the photo is being taken or how it's being taken and what the settings are, blah, blah, blah. So we'll also have a video of how to adjust the presets to tweak. And it's so easy. Like yeah. I almost every single time adjust the colors in mine. You can't yeah. just put a filter over the top of a photo without and it work perfect. Yeah, without adjusting it to the your slightest. liking. Yeah, to in your my style. opinion. Yeah. yeah. Like I always put the temp. Yeah. She always puts a temp to cool because she likes that really white blue look. Yeah, I love like lots of blues. And I like lots of oranges and Yeah, so everyone's yeah. taste is obviously different and we're gonna show you how you can perfect your photos, which is really exciting because I feel like with a lot of other presets they don't really explain that and that's why maybe they don't come out looking perfect each time. So if you've already got presets that you um, have purchased from other people. Yeah, you can play around with the colors and yeah. stuff and we, we can teach you how to do that, which yeah. is really awesome. We just want to help you guys as much as possible. Feel free to ask any questions and make sure you give our Instagram a follow and lots of likes and lots of love. And if you do decide to purchase the presets, which will have the shop link in the description, down below, below. Um, send us your photos and like we want to see what they look yeah, like. Yeah, we really want to see before and afters and we reviews. Wanna, we want to feature you guys as much as possible. So yeah, we've made these for you guys. So we want to we want to see the reviews. It's quite exciting. Results. Yeah, we've worked on these presets for so long and it's really hard to perfect them. A lot of tears have gone into this. Blood, sweat, and tears. Literally, a lot of tears. So we'll have the two videos that will show you how to install them and how to adjust them will be in our IGTV on our Instagram but we'll link them down below but this video will just sort of be how like we edit our photos on our phone but a proper step-by-step -step guide to install them and adjust them we'll have in different videos but today we're just going to show you a little brief of what the presets look like and which what like why we named them so because we've We've named them after funny, like funny names. So. It's just like a lot of our personality. Yeah, it's our personality in. It's just a whole lot of fun. A whole lot of us. Yeah, a whole lot of us in the presets filters, which is really exciting because yeah. we use these so religiously. I use them every single day. Yeah. And massive shout out to you for putting them on my phone because fuck, what a lifesaver. I literally used to edit all my photos on my laptop because I did not know how to put the preset filters on my phone through the um, Lightroom. Yeah. Yeah, so number one thing, you'd need to download that and make sure you've got that. So... Let's jump right into it. Let's get started. Here's how we edit our Instagram photos. Alrighty, so let's get editing. 
This is a photo of Sky and I, obviously, and we're just going to edit it together um, on camera for you just to show how simple it is. So we're in Lightroom at the moment, um, and this is a photo we've selected. There is no preset on it at the moment, so yeah, that's the boring, plain old photo. So you're going to swipe along the very bottom to the far right and see the third last button that says presets. Click on presets and these are all of our presets that we've created. So we have 20 presets and these are all 20 of them here. Um, if you want to purchase all 20, we do have the pro pack, which is all three packs in one. So let's see, let's have a play around. Love that looks that. so nice. Oh. If you hold it before and after. If you hold it down, you can see before and after. Just hold your finger down to see the before and let it go to see the after. That looks awesome. See, this one has really dark oranges, so it makes you look super tanned. So that one almost doesn't even need adjusting. Mm. Like, that's awesome. Bahama Mum is more of like an um, orangey oh, vintage looks, sort of tone. That looks good too. See, most photos won't even need adjusting. They'll look perfect with the filters on them. But just with other photos, you just need to tweak them just a tiny bit. But this looks awesome. I know, that looks great so far. Let's try Grease Lightning. These are super bright colors, so really good for your travel content. It's also really good lighting. Like, that photo was taken in daylight. Good lighting. Yep. So that also helps with the filters not needing any tweaking. Exactly. Like, if it's a poor quality photo, very dark, you might need to tweak it a bit more. And maybe like with selfies or iPhone photos mm. that aren't taken in very good lights. Slay is like my favorite preset. I use it on everything, but I like super orangey. One selfie queen we named after Sky because this is one she literally uses religiously. Yeah, that's like one of my fave filters. Because can you see it's how it's super really cool? Like nice, white Yeah, tones. really like white, crispy, clean, makes you look really tan. That looks awesome. See, this one wouldn't even need adjusting. I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Next photo. Fail. Okay, um, let's go to this one. So this was taken on my camera, but it's very dark. So you can always, so if you want to do some adjusting, we have a further in-depth tutorial on how to adjust, but I'll just show you briefly here. So you go into the light and you can play with the exposure and the highlights. This one, I'll probably take the shadows up because the shadows are really dark, like sort of on my body. You can see where, the, where it's hitting my body. So if you really crank the shadows up, that already looks so much better. But we'll put it down for now because we'll see what the presets do on their own and then you can do some tweaking. So let's go into presets. Um, so this one was at sunset. So we want something to really enhance that sunset and a really good sunset one is Santorini Sunsets because it's called Santorini Sunsets, yeah. Look, banger. Wow. Bloody banger. So that is an awesome preset, but we could probably do with brightening up a bit. So we'd go into the light and see, this is the preset settings that it's already done. So you can maybe go into the highlights and put them up, put the shadows up a bit more, and even play with a bit of the exposure. I don't like to touch that one too much because it can whack out the colors. And you can even put the blacks up to help with the shadows. But that already looks so much better. And that was such minor tweaking. Amazing. Wow. Let's go on to the next photo. So that was Santorini Sunsets. Look at this old photo. Wow, how embarrassing. This is like three years ago of us. Three slut whore vibes. <laughs> Whoops. Knocks a tri tripod over. Which one should we do? Which one's another one you love? Sweet and Simp. Um, I've been using... Insta baddie quite a bit to be honest. Just put Insta baddie on. So yeah. none of what I would normally go is going to color. Um, yep, color, and then I would put the temp down just as an example. So that's yeah. what Sky does a lot. She puts it down the blues a bit because she loves that really like cool look. Yeah, and then I've been going into mix. So you can already see the before and after. Go into. So yeah. the mix up here is actually how to change each individual color, whereas the temperature is like the all-round photo. So if you go into mix and you go into like the oranges, it'll just pick the oranges and adjust them. So if you don't like the really orangey look, you can put the saturation down so it's yeah. not as orange and it's sort of more brown. That's what I do. And then you can play with the luminance, so now that's making us very dark. Or you can like put it up, so... Which washes it out completely. 
So we'd probably go to about there and like we look so tanned. Love that. And it's so easy, so if you were to put the saturation up, you can see how orange that's made us. So it's really just about having a play and seeing what you think looks best. What you like. Yeah, what style you like. So you can already see the before and after. Like that just looks massive improvement. Banger. I'd probably post if that wasn't so old and I didn't look <laughs> tacky as, but it's Trend fine. City. So this one is like my favorite photo we've ever taken. We took this in Bali before we went to Ubud um, and we've created a preset which is mainly perfect for, for food. Yeah. F your food photos and everything. Um, and we use this on so many of our food photos, like that one of you did with the cocktail was amazing. And it's called Margarita because Sky loves her Margies. I love my Margies. Bang. Banger. Straight away, it just enhances all the colors. So it's a super bright filter, but you could probably play with the light a bit and see the highlights are really down. So you can put them up, put the shadows up a bit more and look at that. Wow, Amazing. but if you like the shadowy look, then keep it down. It's totally up to you. Like we said, this is this is just how we would do it, and yeah. So that looks bloody Personal fantastic. Preference, really, guys. Personal professional opinion. And if you want to export it, I'll quickly show you this. So you click the second button there, and you go save to camera roll, and go maximum available. So it's just rendering, and then it'll export it to your camera roll, and then it's ready to post. So, let's go into this one. So this is another one of Sky and I in Bali. Whoops. So go down to presets. Which one should we do? And you can even see the previews here, like they're tiny, but you can see roughly what the preset would look like on the photo. So let's try Santorini Sunsets again. Such an awesome preset for sunsets. Summer Sensation looks good on everything like that. Wow. Okay, go to Sunday Fun Day. See how Sunday Fun Day is quite bright. What yeah. you could do is go into, well, this is what I do. Mm -hmm. I go into cult, into light and then I'll take the exposure down. And you can also play with like the shadows and the yeah. highlights and it would just- That already looks so much yeah, better. Yeah, so much better. Cause Sunday Fun Day is for quite darker photos that need a lot of brightening. See, so look at that. Yeah. Absolute banger if you ask me. What a ripper. Um, let's go, let's get little forest here. No forest, no. We actually named a preset um, after forest because it's like a nice sort of subtle So subtle. Preset. It's yeah. really good for everyday photos and if you're not really into intense color, it just adds that little bit. So that's that one. It looks really good on selfies, like iPhone yeah. photos that you've taken in shit lighting. Like that was taken inside obviously with shadows. Yeah. But that already looks so much better, but I'd probably put the shadows up because they're really dark on his face. Yeah. But it's so easy, just like we did before. Bump them up and look how much better that looks already. Like, And then, and if you so wanted. it's so simple. It's just such a nice edit. So simple. Um, you can go into the blues, so his eyes are just so bright blue. You can play with the saturation and the luminance and see it's made the um, pants a little bit lighter. Brings out all of the clues. So you can put, you can even put the color down. So that's, if you watch the play suit, it goes from a denim to like a really sort of greeny blue. And then you can play with saturation and luminance and look at that. Wow. So awesome. And that was just like one minute of tweaking. Takes no time at all. Um, let's go this photo. Guy, which preset would you like to put on, doll? Look, Bali Blues looked excellent on that one. Wow. Love that. Like, I wouldn't even tweet that. That just looks epic. So epic. Oh, I'm not even going to tweet that because that looks bloody fantastic. Here's another food one. So I'll show you Margarita, which is the food one again. So these are some of the names which we've called the presets. So all the ones which are in the vacay vibes I like Bahama Mama, Bali Blue, Bali Blues, Grease Lightning, Positano Princess, Santorini Sunsets, and Turkish Delight. Turkish Delight's a super bright one that's really good for, like in Turkey there was heaps of colors when I went there so I just wanted all the colors to be enhanced. I didn't want like desaturated photos so that, looks that so even good. looks so good on a food photo. Wow. Bloody epic. And then 
Um, we've also, like, a lot of the names of just really represent our personality because we're just too funny bitches, aren't we? Yeah, we? we're really quite hilarious. Well, some would think. Even Sunday Funny, that really brightens it up and just, yeah, that, that looks awesome. Wow, I didn't post that. <laughs> Legit. I like that a lot. Exports right now. Yeah. So that's just how you save the photo to your camera roll. Rendering sometimes takes a while depending on the quality of the photo. Um, let's do this one. So this one is quite shadowy because we were under an umbrella. So we'll just see what it looks like. I love, I think it was Bondi Glow. It made me look really tan and the whites really stand out. So I wouldn't even edit that. But it's that. still super subtle and pretty. Yeah, it's not like, okay, wow, she looks so orange. It's just a really nice enhancer. I love Insta Baddie. Yeah. That's a nice cool side. I always cool take side. the oranges out of that one though. Yeah. Put the temps down. Yeah. That one's awesome. We love poolside. That's a personal fave. Um, Slay is like, oh, just my favorite. Slay's I, everything. Slay, well, I called Slay Slay because it's the preset I use the most and I say Slay probably too much, so. Yeah, um, last photo we'll show you is just this one. So this will show you what some of the presets can do to the blues because some of these presets just make the blues look epic. Especially the travel photo, so you oh, can just see the aqua stop. there. So if we hold it down, wow, bloody fantastic! Violet blues. Let's have a little play, see what they all look like. Bondi glow is a really nice, subtle one. Yeah, great bam, on bam. selfies. Like, oh, we should get a selfie up next. Yeah, let's get a selfie. Yeah, drop me a selfie. Down. Grease lightning looks so good on this one because it, re if you really like bright greens. It just looks so tropical. Insta baddie. So you can just see the blues in that. So much better. Um, let's go Sunkiss. Sunkiss has really nice blues as well. Yeah, that's awesome. It's so hard to pick when you love them all. Yeah, I know. That's why I always edit. Like, you have you noticed so many on my different... carousels, I put different edits. Oh, really? Yeah, like, I love that. Like, on this photo, I did all different edits. You know what I mean? Yeah. Solarium Barbie is also a very nice one. It's super dark oranges. So Solarium Barbie, you might think is too intense, but just like we said, it's all about adjusting. So yeah, I'd probably leave it on that one. Like I love that one. It's sort of almost a bit vintage with the really bright greens. So now we're gonna show you how some selfie photos would look. So this one is of me, Ovs. Um, so what's your fave? Selfie one, obviously selfie queen. Mine's Forrest Gump and selfie queen. See, so that's super cool tones and that really like really bright whites. Especially for blondes, I feel like we need yeah. that tone, that filter that tones the locks, you know? Yeah, it really does, doesn't it? It gives that really white. What's you know, the other one you like? Forest, Forest See, Gump. so nice, so, so subtle. subtle. Perfect for selfies. Bondi um, Glow is kind of similar to Forrest Gump, but it's a lot more colourful. Lots of lots of saturation in lots Bondi of Glow. Blues. Yeah. So this one, if you wanted to, like I would probably add more orange. I would just put the saturation up just a tiny bit. Just add that bit more colour, but each their own. Like that really didn't do too much, but it's really up to you. Let's try Bondi Glow. See, that's so nice and it has more red in it. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. I love Bahama Mama. It makes you look like, what's the word? Like a tropical princess. It's quite nice. So now another selfie. Um, I usually use Forest Gump, Bondi Glow. Yeah, oh, see, that's so, so nice. nice. I wouldn't even adjust that. I mean, you can, but pool side's really nice. Yeah, that's... look at your eyes. The green is really enhanced in that one. Yeah, banger. And just Amazing. makes your skin look tan, always. We love that. Sweet and Simple is a really nice preset. Mm. Oh wow, that is so nice. Yeah. So sorry about my hideous fingers, I chew them. So, <laughs> sorry in advance. No judgment. Sun Kissed is really nice. Some Wow, they just all look really good, so. Good luck trying to find one. See, Slay is like my all time favorite, whereas Sky would probably. I'd put more blue in that. Yeah, definitely. See? Just that little bit helps so much. We'd also put the um, orange. 
note, I would go into light yep. and put the exposure down. But I'm like amateur editing, you know? And, and the shadows, yeah. Yeah, that it looks, looks so nice. So nice. It looks like it's taken on a bloody camera. Yeah, that's, that's a banger. Really professional. Oh, love it. Do you want that? I'll export it for you. Sure, thanks, Joel. Alrighty, guys. Alrighty, guys. So there you have it. That is how we edit our Instagram photos. It's honestly all about the practice. Like when Freya. When Freya first showed me how to adjust all of that and all the colors and stuff, it did seem a little bit overwhelming because I'm so used to doing it on my desktop. Um, but I just literally just practiced and just did it with every photo and now I'm really good at it and I just, I just know how to put my personal touch on each photo and I just love knowing all of that and how to do it and I'm so happy she put it on my phone because it's so much easier. And yeah, you guys will definitely get the hang of it. Just make sure you practice and just play around. So thanks so much for watching. If you do want more in-depth tutorials, like we said about four times, they will be in our IGTV, but we will link them in the description. Um, so have fun editing. We can't wait to see your edits. Yay! Mwah.